the Mad Lions beat G2 Esports and make it to the World Championship. Kaiser, does it become less fun to beat G2 after you've done it a couple of times? I mean, I think it becomes actually more fun because uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's like... It's, it's really becoming a rivalry, I, I would say, like beating them or like them beating us like sometimes because like at the start we were always getting like beaten by them. And then like in, I think summer uh, before worse or like, or like uh, maybe in spring, I think we beat them in a the best of five. And then like that was like the happiest moment of like my career this, this far. And I wanted to like repeat it like uh, each time more. And yeah, like I, I don't think uh, our happiness like is getting decreased, especially because we reach worlds now, right? Uh, I think that's for for sure also a factor. And uh, yeah, getting to watch G2 come from the losers bracket as well, like uh, watching their like progress again, because like they are really good at making comebacks, right? Uh, so uh, I think that's always really fun to watch. So yeah. Perfect answer. I love the final. We've got some bombshells when we look at the bracket as well, because G2 will go down to the lower bracket. They still need one series to make worlds, and that could be. Fnatic versus Vitality. I'm just putting it out there. It could also very well be Vitality versus G2 or Misfits versus G2. So that's maybe the first question I want to pose to you two. Maybe Dylan, you first. We've seen now the Misfits putting up a great fight versus Rogue. G2, who you can never count out. And we still haven't seen Fnatic and Vitality. What's the situation down there in that lower bracket? I think before I saw yesterday's set, I would think that Fnatic is the most talented out of these teams. And if they play their best game, that they should be favored with their players, and especially a lot of success they had in the first half of summer. Um, but after yesterday, I think Misfits played very well, and I have to put, I guess, all three teams honestly in contention. I think it's going to be a banger. Mm -hmm. Kaiser? I mean, I kind of have to agree. I think uh, I would say Vitality is a bit worse, maybe. Uh, I think they are two coin flip, maybe. Uh, I think it depends on like which Vitality shows up, obviously. But I think uh, uh, I would still say that uh, Fnatic is more consistent, even though they're also coin flip, right? Uh, but I think Misfits is for sure the best team out of those. Uh, like, I was really impressed by them yesterday, like uh, taking Rogue to five games. And I think they should have even won the, the last game, right? So um, yeah, I would say that Misfits is like uh, the, the strongest looking team out of the three. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other four, I guess, G2 takes over from there? Four? Yeah, I have to still give G2 credit, I think. Okay. Um, now, last question about the last part of the brackets, because now G2 is going to play the lower brackets. We have Fnatic waiting for them, maybe Vitality, maybe Misfits. How do you expect this part of the bracket is going to go? Because everything's been so crazy so far. Mm, I think Misfits is going to make it. My bet is that Misfits is going to make it, and I hope they can... Yeah, I hope they can make it. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I think they are gonna be they are gonna be the, the team. But you can expect some blood fights, like some blood bats for real. I oh, think yeah. it's gonna be re real fun. It's gonna be very interesting indeed. But for now, Elia, congrats on winning against G2 today. Thank you so much for the interview, and good luck on the rest of playoffs. Thank you so much.